Uh, the gigoto plant is one of the mills that is within our jurisdiction. They produce a brand of maize that is called uh, mokwa. And this maize is fully certified by Kenya Bureau of Standards. Regarding the press reports yesterday, uh, stating that the mill is in danger, we would like to assure the public that Kenya Bureau of Standards has a scheme of supervision and control to ensure that the public does not or is not exposed to dangerous uh, products. Indeed, we did find a high level of aflatoxins in um, a batch of 36 bales of maize flour in the plant. And it has been explained by the county that this maize was part of a batch that was used to test a new production system. So indeed it failed and uh, we have taken the steps to condemn it and we'll, we'll soon be with the county officials to destroy that batch of 36 bales. As part of the corrective action, we required of the county to do three things. One was to ensure that the source of raw materials was within the requirements of Kenya standards, and they have done so. A subsequent sample that we, we took indicates that the flower currently is complying with the requirements of Kenya standards. So save for the 36, the maize plant is producing products which are safe for Kenyans. KEBS has done regular monitoring which it does with every other industry in the country. And whenever KEBS releases reports, it is for internal improvement. And every factory, once in a while, has a batch or a percentage. And there is a, a standard percentage um, that we have been also briefed by KEBS that sometimes does not meet the standard, but as quickly as possible, corrective action is taken, as we took in the case of the 36 bales of flour that uh, 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 missed uh, the previous month. Subsequently, KEBS has tested our Mokwa maize, and they have given us a report showing that uh, Mokwa has passed with flying colors and continues to pass these tests with flying colors.